don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to see new videos released whenever they are released and to see live streams whenever they are released. So like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell. It really helps out. <gasps> Yo guys, what's up? It's Spicy Spider back with another micro video today. Today we are building, or Spicy Spider train tutorials, I should say because I renamed my channel. Um, today we're building the Union Pacific Challenger number 3985. Um, those of you that know about trains in the Pacific, you know that the Challenger was running ever since 1981 to, well, it was, uh, Actually, the big boys are actually the successor to the Challenger series, the 4664. Um, if you guys really want, I will build the original Challengers, the uh, CSA 1s, and I think it was the CSA 2. Uh, those things, the only difference was, uh, the depending on what kind, the uh, pilot was a bit different, the headlight was mounted on the nose, um, tender was different, um, though I think they did burn oil though. The, some of it was different, and they had the ash pan this one doesn't so this one is the one from 2010 i'd say because it's the older one um right now big boy's using its tender so when we build this thing it's going to be simple because they'll be using this tender um like again like i'll say i won't be showing you how to build the tender if you want to see it just go look at my big boy video um it's not the same tender as this one, because this one's different. Go check out the 844 video, though, my newest uh, video. Well, not my newest, my newest tutorial video, because I have a weird random train similar to one that's out. Um, so, yeah, it's not that much shorter than the... It's a bit shorter than the big boy. Um, uh, just quick history. Actually was built in, I think, 1943 or 42, so this Challenger, this kind of Challenger, was built after the big boy. So... I guess they wanted more. And as you can see, the designs are very similar. The only difference is the headlight is not on. It's not here. It's down lower. Um, actually, a small little thing I actually messed up on. The headlight should be moved back here, but it doesn't matter. So, um, And the shield plate. This is the shield. I know, clever design. I'm not using a sign like I did on that one because um, the shield is a bit smaller. So it's on the nose instead of it being... Well, it be here where the headlight is. And the front pilot's a bit shorter. This this pilot was hard. This pilot deck was like one of the hardest things I had to build because it's so small. Um, as always, the uh, it's a four six six four. Um, the uh, rods or valve gear, it's just shorter by this much. And you can definitely tell the size comparison. But anyways, the tighter toe for uh, re reminding me to do this tutorial because I probably wouldn't have done it so this is really a request 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 but I'll still put him thanks for him reminding me so thanks buddy for reminding me to do this so to go ahead and get started I'm gonna do things differently this time um, I'm gonna actually show you how to build the entire wheel uh, chassis wheel chassis so from this to the back so you're gonna want to go ahead and grab out the blocks that I'm getting uh, just that's where you guys can actually get the whole trains chassis built. And my dog's down here. Luda, don't whine. She's all whining. Um, okay, that's... W I don't know why I didn't fill this in. That's eh, fine for now. Hang on a minute. I just gotta look at something. How do I... Oh, Okay. Yeah, I gotta fill that in. I'm just checking. Make sure. Okay, now we can go and start off with the chassis. I don't know why they call it, or the wheelbase, that's what they call it. So, to start off, um, it doesn't matter. Just go ahead and place con uh, terracotta there. There. There, there, there. Go ahead and take your birch button. And take polished blackstone slab and just do that. Then, go back one, take polished blackstone slab again, or the blackstone slab, and go, so one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two, one. And just to make sure, go ahead and every two box, make sure you have enough room for each of the three drive wheels. So just follow along, because I'm actually going to go on the description of this thing, so I can save video time and uploading time. So... 
the Challenger wasn't fully restored to working order, so it still had the problems. Like right now, it needs a whole entire boiler overload. The firebox is damaged. It can't run on, it probably gets severely more damage than it is now. So the big boy and the 844 are the only two steamers that are actually in good condition. Um, so yeah. Um, I can't really build the original big boy type because they don't have one, but I could show you guys how to convert the tender to coal. Um, well that, or I could show you how to convert the tender for coal in this one. So then after you get all of your wheels in, or all six of them, you're going to want to take dark oak fence gate and nether brick fence and do the same thing we did with the big boy, big boy tutorial, do the whole tutorial and just shrink it down. It's actually, I think, smaller by... It'd be smaller by four blocks. Actually, I don't think it's smaller by four blocks. It's more smaller by like maybe six. I don't know why though. So you should have this. Oh, oh I forgot to put these. So this is what you should have for the front section. Um, and since we're right here, sorry about my dog. She's all crazy. Lulu, stop. Um, then take a dark oak fence gate. And take black concrete and you're going I'm not gonna skip this uh, but cuz last time I actually forgot to skip out me pasting in the tender behind this one by accident so um, so you're gonna want to copy this exact same front section so it'd be like um, I don't know how far back I went if I went the same distance nope I did not okay I just realized on a server I was playing yesterday I messed up my big boy when I was building it there. Yes guys, I was playing on Foxshot server yesterday. Just seeing what's all changed because they were all begging me like, Spicy, when are you going to get back on? I'm like, fine guys. With the slow computer that we have at my house. Well, the house that I live in with my family parents. So you're just going to want to copy the exact same design. I think I might have found out a way to have made the... Nah, never mind. See, if you... I think it was good that I built all of these in case you have a world or like a train world you want to have all these famous steamers or you can build them by yourself. So really, if you really wanted it to look natural, I would consider taking the Challenger and the 844 and putting them both in a train passenger train set together because that's uh, the 844 and the Challenger used to run with each other all the time okay so now we're going to do this back section so you're going to want to go one two we're actually just going to want to go one like that so this is the whole wheel base right now um So yeah, this is the whole wheel base. Um, we'll go ahead and put, go ahead and put slabs here so we can go ahead and get this back section started. Sorry if the music's too loud. I like. I'll turn that down. Sorry. Or I could just turn up my microphone. But the last thing you guys want is to hear an ear rape from me. So. So this is what you should have. A pretty weird building way that I did it instead of starting off with the pilot. But let's go ahead and start off. Let's go ahead and do th these things now. The, um, uh, what are they called? I don't know what they're called. They'll probably come to my mind eventually. So you're going to want to place two blackstone slabs here uh, next to these birch buttons. And you're going to want to place black concrete, black concrete. You could do this too if you wanted. It would still work out fine. Um, but I decided to do this. I wanted to go different. So... You're gonna copy these, just copy them wherever I'm copying them, if you're following along, or if you're just like building it from the picture. Also check out my uh, new rail fanning series that I'm doing uh, called Rail Fanning in Parkville, Missouri. That's where I live, guys, so no, I don't live in like Los Angeles. I don't live in like a famous place where all famous YouTubers live. So yeah, you should have something like this. I know it's super basic. I wanna, I'm trying to make these bait. I don't want to make them too detailed to the point where I'm sp like, I don't want to make them detailed to where like you'd see like freaking slabs and 
you, you know, like slabs and stairs and like at every possible point I can get. I tried to make these simple for you guys. So, this is what you should have. Next, while we're here, actually, just clear your inventories. Now we're going to start off with the pilot. So, you're going to want to get out the usual materials that we use for the pilot. So, since we already got all the hard stuff out of the way, now it's going to be a bit easier. Lulu, stop it. Go to your kennel. She's being annoying, guys. I'm sorry. Okay. So, take the Blackstone stairs. And it's the same pilot that we've been doing for all of these. Except the 844's pilot was a bit different. Surprisingly, guys, I actually kind of did get the 844 a bit wrong. I think the boiler is supposed to be pushed down half a sl I think a slab, so half a block. Um, it still looks fine like this because it kind of does look a bit too tall, but doesn't matter. Um, the next, take your polished blackstone slab. I, it's so off topic when I'm doing these. And you want to place Marco fence gates. So these fence gates aren't supposed to be ladders, kind of. They're supposed to be like a little step stool that's right here. I didn't want to do a block carpet or trap door, so I just decided to do dark oak fence gates or I could have done skulls but those look weird too so I don't know if they're gonna hopefully they could bring the 3977 back in the service because I'd really like to see a Greyhound Challenger which really they could just bring it back and call it the 3985 because they can renumber if they want to fun fact the 3985 was actually renumbered to like I think 3970 something I know it had a rename number because of some like the other challenger or something so they renumbered it for a while and they took it back so then you're gonna want to take another brick stairs place there like what we always do um yeah so the challenger was running for a while um what, what was i gonna say i was gonna say something else well it's not running anymore but oh yeah there's only two challengers left this one and the one back there that i'm building the greyhound one which i will be doing tutorial on that i'm gonna figure out a way to get these smoke deflectors to work on that one so i might have to like make a custom resource pack file that you, you guys won't have to download it though you can be using other resource packs as long as they don't change any specific blocks okay oh we're forgetting a part uh did we already do the headlight okay yeah we did so you can get rid of those get out your hopper and your anvil i think this is the air compressor i think that's what they're called technique that a lot of people will people actually do on tr on their train build so Hang on, I need to see something underneath the wheels. Okay, no, I didn't do that. Okay. So then... Go ahead and take two polished... Or take two slabs. Like that. You don't have to use the same blocks. You could use any other block that you want. You could use even blue if you want. Um, but if you want it to be more historically accurate, you might want to go ahead and follow along so you're not, like, making this thing that looks like Thomas the Train. <laughs> Um, in reality, though, the uh, Challenger's boiler would be pushed up an extra block because it's actually up completely up against up on top of this piston thing. But I didn't want to do that because I like to have this little gap here so it looks like it's not all rigid and stuff. So that's what I also did with the big boy because the big boy should be pushed up a bit farther too. But the 844 is actually fine because that's this is how it's like on the. Okay, so when you have that, you, I think, okay, yeah, you can get rid of everything, all your blocks that you have, I'm just checking something, okay, okay, then take out another brick fence, um, if you are using a custom resource pack, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have that, you can use any t resource pack, a fence that won't connect so the only fence you're going to want to make sure that your nether brick fence is at least a black color it's fine if it's another color it doesn't matter but you want it to be able so where it won't connect like this because that's going to look weird but you could always use debug stick or commands so i'm going to do this a weird way so you're going to want to do this this will be the start of the handrails for the boiler so and now we're going to go ahead and take out the boiler blocks that we're going to use. We're going to use like a concrete stone stairs, stone slab. Um, I'm, you don't have to do it with these colors. You can use quartz because these boilers used to be white. The big boys is actually supposed to be like a gray color, but I did it a, gray, a lighter gray because I like the uh, lighter gray. It's the 
A lot of railroads actually do that, which I don't know why they do it like this, so it's weird. But, and the reason why I did the 844's uh, smoke uh, smokestack different, uh, the dual smokestack, is because like it has like, uh, yeah, like what I said in the video, I think. That was weird. It must have been me stepping on something. So you want to do this. You should have like this circular donut. No, wait, that would be a donut. Circular shape like that. And then you want to go. Take your light gray concrete, light gray concrete, try saying that five times fast, light gray concrete and go one, two, three, four, five. And then same thing on here. And then back here. Um, if you guys want me to, I could do these tutorials on Java. Um, not saying I have any need to do them, but I can do these tutorials on Java because I will once I get a functioning PC. Okay, just take, take just follow along. Because um, when I get a functioning PC, I will um, convert this world to. I'll have two of the same worlds, but when I do something in the Bedrock version or the Java edition, I'll have to copy it over to. You guys basically get what I'm saying. Okay, so this is what you should have. Then take. Your stone slab. Go one, two, three. I think I used to do that, but that looks weird. So you want to do, oops, that. I don't think, yeah, you'll still be needing it just for one small thing. Then get rid of, cut a hole there, take out your polish and a sight and a dark oak button. Go ahead and clear those. You won't need those. This polish slab, skeleton skull, lever or lever, whatever you want to call it. Then something like this. Okay, I don't know why, but this just looks demonic for some reason. This could also work, but I don't know why. I just like doing it out like this. The number boards, it gives it more of that feel. It looks like a big boy from this view. But to make it not... Stone button, dark oak button. You could just place a button there, but if you wanted to have more detail, do that. Then take out your wither skeleton skull, get out another brick fence. Wither skull there. Wither skull there. Brick fence there. That'd be kind of cool, brick fences. Now let's take out, let's get out the blocks for the boiler. Go ahead and get out all of them. It's a lot of blocks here on this thing. And then take them and just stack them all the way till there. Go up on the top here. And here. And do the same thing here. And do this thing. So you're just making the same shape. So you're basically copying the 844's wheel three million times. <laughs> Not very funny though. Okay, the sand domes on this thing are a bit smaller than the big boys, so that's why they're two blocks. I don't really know if that's prototypical for this for the 1.5 to 1 scale. This is 1.5 to 1 scale. I could do three to uh, not three to one, uh, one to one scale builds, but it's three by like it's like three three wide by like four tall, so I don't want to do that. So take the sand domes you want to do this and I don't know why I have them like that in the end it's supposed to be centered but you could do that I guess but so take a fence this is actually supposed to be like a I think a smaller like grab iron like a, a bar that you can like hold on to oops wrong block oh I didn't get a dark oak button I clicked on it maybe I clicked on the wrong thing my dog just coughed or did something. You want to do the same thing on this side. And then go one, two, these valves. They're supposed to be two on this side and three on this side, but I can't do that without world edit or debug stick, and I don't have that, so. And copy the exact same sand dome on the back. I really like what you can do with these daylight uh, sensors or detectors is what they're called in Java Edition, or solar panels if you just want to be more 
modern. Um, they, they can actually, like, these can actually work as a really good slab. Like, if you want something that's smaller, but not too horribly small. I think I can hear a train passing by over in the town that I live in. Well, by the town. Okay, hang on. I need to see. Oh, okay. I might gotta fix something. I'll do it in, when I'm building the thing. Okay, so. Then you. Uh, I should have done this before, but just go ahead and do this. It's fine if you do it all. Actually. Yeah, it's supposed to go all the way back. And just stop it there for now. Um, you're, um, let's go into the boiler. I forgot to do this on the model, but you want to do this. And then like that. This is the thing that helps hold up the boiler, the wheelbase from the boiler. So this whole, uh, the front thing is on a pivot point, so it'll swing on its own. So I should probably, we'll just do that. It's like a little pin there, so that's why it can have its own swivel point thing. Oh, and flip that upside down like that. Okay, so now, I think we got the details on the boiler so far. Um, you could actually put the, actually the walkway platform would be more like that. But I didn't do that because I didn't like how high it was. That's why I did it a bit lower. This might be more like it, but I don't like doing it like that. Everybody has their own building style, so. Just slap it all the way to the back and then. I guess we could go back. Yeah, go back three extra blocks. And I can't wait till I get all this UP fleet done, because then I can make like a. It's like 50 cars, so that's pretty. That's pretty damn large amount. Um, it's fine if I say that word, guys. Coppa can't come down on my door, and be like FBI, open up. This tutorial was actually supposed to be next, but the 844 one ended up coming in. Oh wow, I forgot something here. I hope you guys corrected that before I noticed. Okay. And you want to take out these blocks and go ahead and get out these and you'll need an extra slab. Place the slab or make it a full block right there. And then you want to make this thing go back by five since I don't have any train like a uh, HO scale models or just a model of these things in general it's kind of harder to build these because I don't have like a hands-on thing like I do with my with like uh, BNSF ES44 C4 I just took I, it's the ES44 AC there's no difference besides the two numbers are different so it's easier when like you have a physical model but sometimes I use a website called Brass Trains where I can it's models but I, it's pretty reliable I like using them only sometimes it works because it shows like a full 360 view and top and bottom then you're gonna copy the same sand dome that we've been using for the back but I don't think this might be a sand dome some of these could just be boil could be firebox entrances but And we'll go ahead and start off the rounding of the cab back here. Really, if you wanted to make the cab rounded enough, no, that won't work. And probably like a bit, two pixels higher would probably work. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and f make this all folded in or fu filled in. Does it really matter how I fill this thing in? Oh. Really, I'm not supposed to, this thing isn't supposed to be all the way filled in, but it doesn't matter. It's Minecraft. It doesn't matter. I already said that before in my last video. I don't know why. I know that these things are meant for support, but I don't know why they have this design. It's so weird. I bet you if you didn't have this, the whole engine would just be lifting off the ground like a freaking speeding rocket. Like, Sorry if that was too loud. It's your fault for having your headphones on too loud. 
take black concrete and slap it all the way back here. Upside down like that. Go ahead and fill that in though. I think that all has to be filled in. Okay, there we go. I just have to kind of look here every so often to see how I built these. I don't know why I use pillar quartz for it. I have no idea why. I just saw it one day on like a server. Well, I just saw it. It's like a, I don't know why. I just decided to try it out and I just decided to like it, but I don't really think it matters. Okay, so the cab, the exact same cab. The, the only difference is I think that the 844 cab might be actually smaller, but before my cabs were huge, like I'm glad that I didn't have a past big boy tutorial anyways. I was working on one, but I actually didn't even get halfway done. So I was trying to do it from memory. That's not a good idea. Remember when here Brian was scary? Another thing I will say is that the gap between the locomotive and the tender, it's inaccurate to actual prototip. Typical, I don't, in 1.5 to 1 scale, that would total out on being one and a half meters, which I don't think it's one and a half meters. It would really, there's, there, pfft, really the tender should be up to it like, like this block should be here. But you know how I am, I liked it. So you can actually see like, you can actually see like there's a gap there because I don't really think it actually matters. I mean, it does kind of look a bit freaky or, I meant weird. But okay. Then take out these blocks. Dark oak fence gate there, dark oak fence gate, nether brick fence. Like so. There you go, we're done with tutorial. I'm just kidding, we're not done with tutorial. <laughs> I'm funny. I don't know why I cleared my inventory. Um, I don't know if this is true on the Challenger, and I don't know if it was true on the 844, but I do know that the big boy, after seeing stuff, it did have an antenna, that's why I have this thing here, that's supposed to be, I don't think it's called an APC antenna, because that sounds like a helicopter name, it could be, but I decided to do it on all of them, besides it does give it the full block height, because I don't like how those things stick up right there, those are supposed to be oil check meters, so. Um, let's go through it, make sure we have everything done right so far. So this is the engine segment. So now, we want to take these blocks and wither skeleton skulls. Let's go ahead and place the wither skulls right there. Let's make it look good. Take out that, take out that. Not take out, like, shoot it down, guys. Not that kind of take out. I, mean, I guess you could say, like carry out <laughs> oops um i don't know i should have said this before but this isn't supposed to be a wall it's supposed to be a slab but i can't you can't get the nether brick slot <laughs> the nether brick fence to like you can't there's no such thing as half of a fence so that's why i did a full block i mean it does kind of give it more detail because my trains are very plain Then you want to place your trapdoor there, and then the fence there, the fence there, and the trapdoor. If you want to make the ash pan on this, I don't know how you'd make it, but let's just see. I think if you really wanted to make it, you could probably do this. It probably won't work. You could do that. It won't work on this kind of model, though, on the Challenger. Yeah, it won't work because of that. So if you want to do the ash pan... You could actually do it like this, or replace that with that, but really the ash pan was just there to dump out all the uh, ashes from the uh, train after a long run, so. And the reason why the engines were colored, were painted black was because of all the smoke and stuff. All the soot wouldn't get, like, it all dirty, so. It still would, but it would blend in, you know? You gotta give some contrast. Okay, we're not done with it. We're going to actually finish the entire engine segment. So, 
Oh, we also forgot something. You want to go ahead and take out this. Place this. This will be the, the uh, Alco Scanati Works in New York's uh, the Builder Plate. Do you want to? Let's get out all the materials that you'll need for these. So I did it like this so you can see the two variations from one side of how I did it. So this is it just in the normal position I like and this is it when it's like up higher a bit so. And I use smooth stone slab because you can because you can see like the connection joint there so. So we're going to actually mirror it so with this one starting with this one. This I think is probably the more easier one not really but. Starting from this, oh my gosh, I forgot another one. Okay. Starting from this wheel, go there, and then you want to go all the way to there. Right above this one, go back three, and then one, two. Okay, wait a minute. I didn't mess anything up. I did not mess anything up. I made that too long. Take that there. Another brick fence. Take a quartz slab. My dog's probably found a cricket and she's freaking out now. Ooh, you need a slab. And take your diorite. Place it there. She's just free. She's just having. My dog's being weird. Okay. Next. Yeah, do this. I like that sound, it's satisfying. Then you want to do just follow along. Also, guys, I got my airsoft gun. I don't know if I'll be doing a review. I probably will. I already used it, so surprisingly, guys, I almost used up all the. Uh, airsoft BBs from it so my dad he told me sh he wanted me to shoot him with it so he could feel how it felt this isn't a real gun this is a fake gun this is an airsoft gun he started he's like ah yeah yeah because it it's a, it's gonna sting okay so this way you should have and I'm doing this part now because I'm gonna forget so these are the external pipings you know what uh, let's just finish up all the rods and then we'll do all that stuff later actually So now you're gonna copy these exact exact same rods on This side, so I'm gonna actually do a time-lapse here So I'll see you guys when I get this well, you'll you'll know when the time-lapse is over cuz it'll be over Okay, hey guys, um, I forgot to unmute my mic during this part, so I wasn't talking. Um, I had no idea that my mic was unmuted, so I'm just going to go ahead and go over what you're supposed to do here. So, um, when you're going to need to get these blocks, you're going to need to get the blocks that I have out right now. It's kind of hard to voice over when I'm watching a video of myself. Um, I don't know why I didn't know my mic was unmuted. I'm sorry for that. So, that's why I, I was like, why can't I hear my voice? So, I was talking for nonsense for no reason, but... So you're just going to want to follow what I just did there. Um, next we're going to do these things. I don't... Oh yeah, next we're going to do the uh, part of the boiler. So... Um, that's why whenever you're doing these, always make sure that you have your mic unmuted. So that's why it looks like I'm stopping a lot, because I'm actually talking, but I didn't know my mic was unmuted, so... It's a good thing I edited this video, right? If I wouldn't have, you guys wouldn't have heard my voice. Thank God for voiceovers. So I did this because I like to have it give it some more texture, so, so you know, like... You get it. And I accidentally kept on opening that thing over and over again. I'm so happy that this voiceover thing exists. Um, yeah, I keep on opening that. I don't know if it's happening on your guys' when you guys are looking at But on my screen, I have a delay. Like, it'll make the opening sound before I even, like, start talking or something. It's weird. Like, it, like, plays the block sound before I even place it. It's weird. It's like a delay. I don't know why I put that there. I was just trying something. 
so I think I don't know what I was saying here. I'm just probably just saying random nonsense about the engine. Probably saying that we're almost done with it. Um, then you're gonna need the polished blackstone slab or just blackstone slab because we're gonna do some other part. I don't think I was talking about the tender there, but so the next thing we're gonna do is these like piston. No, they're not pistons. They have to be at least cylinder valve, cylinder pipes. The uh, those uh, weird things like those things that I just looked at. So yeah, you're gonna want to place those. I actually did that wrong. You're gonna want to place it there and then get rid of that one. And then you're gonna copy them on the exact same side. Just you're gonna do one, two, three. Skip one, one, two, three. It's a bit different. A video kind of cut out there. Skipped ahead a little bit. So just follow along with what I'm doing. Could also be be, be because I don't have enough storage on this PS4. <laughs> I have to delete some applications. I didn't delete Minecraft. Sorry, I'm quiet. I'm just trying to make sure that I know what I'm doing. Okay, yeah, I have it right. Okay. And you're just going to want to copy the exact same thing on the other side. I should have just time-lapsed this whole part, but then you guys couldn't see anything, so... Best moments caught on camera. That's funny, my controller's blinking because I'm doing the recording thing. That's kind of cool. Okay, so yeah, yeah. So it's basically like what I did on the big boy too. So yeah, that's what you guys should have right now. I'm just doing a quick flyby, make sure that I have everything. So you guys have them in the comment section if I forgot anything important. Okay, and I think now I was going to do the tender. So yeah, I think now we're going to start off with the tender. So I'm actually going to show you guys in this how to use structure blocks. You already saw me do it in the 844 video, but I'm going to show you now. The video would be uploading right now, but it can't. Hopefully it can. I might have to delete some storage. I was doing a train sim world video and it kind of told me that I can't upload it. it like just told me that like five minutes ago okay I don't know why I do this so much I'm stopping a lot I think and also I did talk about how to do the Greyhound stuff so and also you could use the 844 tender it would look odd though because the tenders actually have less fuel so to do this you're gonna need to have experimental gameplay on so you're gonna need you're gonna do slash give Add S for yourself structure blocker, just your username. And I'm gonna show and I show you here how to use it. Actually, I think I was talking about the tenders here. Actually, was I? No, I wasn't. I started doing the thing. So you gotta take stone. Well, this is just to show you. Like, see, it tells you there. Like, you have the little box. It tells you it's, it only goes up to a maximum of 64 blocks. So, kind of sad. So like if I did here like 333, it only went up to 64. That's the limit. And then you do you. So how it works is, you do you save the structure name, and then it tells you that it's been saved. And then you do, and when you hit save, then you do load and you load up the structure. So right here, I'm about to load up the tender, the tender preset or prefab. So I did load, and I'm typing here my structure tender and then it has the whole tender dimension saved so then when I hit load it's gonna plop them up and then boom bada bing bada boom there copied and pasted the tender so pretty nice feature this is kinda like world edit for us so yeah here I'm talking about the tender so there's really no need you can just just skip ahead cuz just skip ahead uh, not too far just skip ahead maybe like 20 seconds um, I'll just say that the tenders, these tenders have like, the Big Boy and Challenger tenders had 24,000 gallons of fuel to 25,000 gallons of fuel. The FEF series had 23,500 gallons of fuel or 23,400 gallons of fuel. They just had a little bit less because I think they're burning more, they have to burn more coal. Well, they did. Well, that thing burned oil all its life, but you guys would get it. And then you're going to need to make sure you can get structure block or structure voids out. Barriers could work, but if you want to be able to walk up there. 
Um, really the cab, I should have said this before, really would be all enclosed. So like, it's like a, it's kind of like a room in the cab, but it's Minecraft. I didn't want to do that because I don't do cab interiors. So now the tutorial's done. You can keep watching. Um, I'm gonna, I end up talking about, well, I was talking about how I have more tutorials planned, like the SD70 ACE, the ES, no, the ET44AH, and the, um, uh, SD90 Mac and a secret tutorial, and the auxiliary water tenders. So, I'm about to talk here how to turn into the Greyhound. So, what you do, oh, I don't know why those were yellow, I made them look like that. Um, so how do you turn into the Greyhound texture? You basically take the whole boiler section and you make it gray. Take it light gray concrete, for starters, light gray. And that part that I'm looking over the walkways there would have would be you'd make them yellow or white depending on which one. There's a TT, there's, there's a two tone gray yellow and there's a two tone gray silver. I think it's silver, two tone gray. It's like a white. I don't know why they call it. It's called two tone gray because it uses two colors of gray and it uses either yellow or white in it. So that's why sometimes you'll see Union Pacific Challenger TTGS or TTGY. See, I just talk here how to convert it. Uh, nothing really big, too simple. Uh, I'll probably do a tutorial on how to convert it. So, you keep the bottom chassis there, uh, the same color. You take that section there, you change it to like a gray, and then you change the top part of the tender to a gray, light gray. And then the roof of the cab would actually stay that color. And then all the sand hatches would stay gray, or I mean the color that they are. Uh, the front section of the boiler, you would actually turn that into a, um, uh, uh, like a white color. Just search up the Union Pacific Challenger and the two-tone gray. You can also do it to the 844, which I should have mentioned. So you just search up two-tone gray, so that's all you have to do. Um, so for the sake of me not wanting to lose my memory or lose my brain cells, um, I'm going to end this voice recording here, and then I'm going to skip to my outro. So, or actually, no, I don't need to because I'm going over all this. So yeah, I was just showing over the next strains I'm going to do, and my other, uh, my Union Pacific or no, my North American uh, Railroad uh, rolling stock. And yeah, uh, guys, thanks for watching the uh, video. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, it's great that I actually got the tutorial out there. Uh, don't forget those water tenders will be coming out too. Yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. Peace out. Check in for the next one, and I hope I did this right. Thanks for watching. <laughs>